What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 WWE wrestlers who retired way too soon. Um, sometimes it happens where an unforeseen injury or unforeseen situation which causes a, a popular wrestler to kind of have to hang it up earlier than they expected to. I mean, it's, it's, it's part of the business. You know, sometimes your career doesn't go the way you expect it due to whatever circumstance. Um, this is why we should cherish those that are able to entertain us in the ring while they physically can. So we're going to check out some of these moments. Appreciate all love and support. Let's get right into this one, man wrestler knowing when to call it a day is one of the hardest things about being a pro wrestler. Over the years, wrestlers have made bold decisions in relation to their retirement and 90% of the time they've regretted this move and subsequently come out of retirement. Some yep. retirements are applauded by fans as it's truly time that the wrestler hung up their boots for good. However, some retirements are questioned as that wrestler still has a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 wrestlers who retired way too soon. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, JBL. The retirement of JBL at WrestleMania 25 came as a huge surprise to fans. JBL mm -hmm. was one of the top stars in the entire company, and although he had a history of back issues, it looked like he was able to work through the pain. He was a top level performer as his character was over and every feud he was involved in had meaning and substance. JBL stepping away from the ring in 2009 seemed like an abrupt yeah. move, but according to JBL, he knew it was time, as he was getting too old to hang with the youth of WWE. JBL is a talent who has stuck to his word in relation to staying retired and it's great to see WWE use his talents as a manager as he began to manage Baron Corbin in late 2022. Still didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work, but uh, kudos to him to actually, you know, stand true to his word. Granted, uh, he's definitely had some issues behind the scenes and backstage politicking, but that's neither here nor there. Shell McCool. In 2011, Michelle McCool announced her retirement from WWE. This was a shocking call from McCool as she was one of the top female stars in WWE and her in-ring work had aged like a fine wine. McCool would discuss in depth her decision to retire on Lillian Garcia's Chasing Glory podcast as McCool stated, Yeah, it was tough. I mean, just leaving in itself was tough because it got to a point where I was dealing with so much, again, mostly being Undertaker's girlfriend and while I was on TV and even having a writer throw the papers up one day and say, why don't we just call it the Michelle McCool and Undertaker show? And, oh, wow. Uh, you know, it was just, it was nonstop. And I went to Vince on numerous occasions and bless his heart, he was wonderful. But I just said, you know, Vince, I don't want to hate something that I grew up loving so much. And the longer I stay, the more I'm like, oh, I'm getting this, you know, a sour taste in my mouth. McCool Damn. has come out of retirement for appearances in the Royal Rumble, but there are still calls from fans to see McCool have one more run in WWE. I have heard about that, like the backstage issues with her dating The Undertaker. And it's like, I don't, I, it never came off like she oh, was abusing her relationship to get herself placed higher on the card. But I don't know, man, that just seems kind of weird why writers feel some type of way because she's dating the undertaker and it wasn't just only writers i've heard you know other wrestlers and talent felt some type of way it's like bro okay like what's the issue but you know how people is people don't want to see you happy or or feel like you know you don't deserve to be in that spotlight or whatever the situation is but it sucked that she had to deal with that which is crazy to think about when you consider that the former divas champion retired over a decade ago which is number crazy. eight abyss TNA legend Abyss retired from in-ring competition in 2019 without too much fanfare. Now, Abyss is without question one of the greatest big men to ever lace up a pair of boots, and numerous names such as AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, and Sting have spoken at length about how gifted Abyss is inside the squared Damn. circle. When he retired, it was evident that he still had so Whoa. much more to give, and he would later be signed by WWE, but not as an in-ring talent. Abyss would become a producer for WWE, and this is a role which he received widespread appreciation for, as it looks like he truly has a gift for putting together matches. Okay. Although it seems like the former NWA World Champion has no plans to step inside the ring again, there are calls from fans to see Abyss enter the Royal Rumble as a surprise entrant, which would seal off a tremendous in-ring career. Number 7. Eve Torres When Eve Torres announced to fans that she was retiring at just 29, fans were stunned. 
Eva had truly come into her own during her final years in WWE, and her heel work was critically acclaimed by many. <laughs> oh, boy, she stated that she wanted to start a family, and this was something that fans came to appreciate about the former WWE star. She had accomplished everything she wanted to in WWE, and it was time to put the WWE chapter of her life behind her. Although she has no desire to come out of retirement every year around the Royal Rumble season, she's rumored for a surprise appearance and hopefully one year this comes to fruition. Number 6, <laughs> AJ Lee. Oh, nah, this one right here, I know a lot of people want her to come out of retirement. I know a lot of people definitely want her to come out of retirement. When it came to WWE Women's Wrestling was AJ Lee. AJ brought new eyes to the women's division and her segments, particularly in 2012, were huge draws for WWE. AJ was immensely popular and she was a vocal face of the women's division who always campaigned for women to get better treatment in WWE and this is something that can never be taken away from her. AJ retired in 2015 as she'd been dealing crazy. with a serious neck injury. This combined with the fact that her husband CM Punk and WWE weren't exactly best friends, unfortunately created a very problematic workplace environment for AJ. She would have to stay active for a few short months for the likes of Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch to join the roster and the matches AJ could have had with these talents could oh, have been would have truly been special. Good. Fans still hope one day AJ decides to step back in the ring but even if she doesn't, AJ's work and contributions to wrestling are going to be celebrated for years to come. Number 5, Lita. Lita decided yeah, nah, to AJ Lee definitely, she, she had the momentum uh, in the beginning of this whole women's revolution thing so today and officially retired from WWE in 2006. Lita had fallen out of love with wrestling and the WWE lifestyle was making her miserable. The way WWE handled her retirement was heavily criticized as following a loss to Mickey James at the 2006 Survivor Series pay-per-view, Crime Time would auction off her belongings and this wasn't remotely fitting for an all-time great. Lita yeah. had so much more to offer WWE, <laughs> they did her it dirty. was clear at this point in time that the women's division was becoming an afterthought and Lita deserved much better than to be a non-factor on WWE television. Thankfully, Lita has made a number of appearances since mm -hmm. 2006, including a match with Becky Lynch in 2022, which was WrestleMania worthy. Lita finally now gets her flowers from WWE as she's often cited as the most influential and trailblazing female talents of all time. Mm -hmm. Number 4, Trish Stratus. I believe Did she's supposed to be uh, teaming up with Becky Lynch uh, to go after the women's tag title, so she's been prominently featured uh, a few times the past couple years. 2006 didn't just feature the in-ring retirement of Lita, as her arch-rival Trish Stratus also stepped away from the squared circle. She retired at the Unforgiven pay-per-view in a match against Lita, and unlike Lita, Stratus was given her flowers on the way out the door. She would discuss her reasons for retiring during a 2021 interview with Wild On, as she revealed, well, okay, I've literally worked with every female that's available, really, on the roster. Um, had, I mean, been so lucky to have these fantastic robust feuds with all the women too really like right. a little feuding match like really like great feuds and rivalries you know yeah like, to this day like people talk about and, and you know love and, and, and you know connect with oh. right oh yes so, yes yeah, so i felt that and then um I, I, not that there was like i was teetering a little bit but then my mom got sick i don't know if you've heard the story but my mom oh. was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma oh, it just was like the universe saying this is your time to walk away and like focus on family again which is understandable Whilst this decision was respected by fans stratus was a face of the women's division and to say that a retirement resulted in wwe falling out of favor with the women's division would be an understatement oh, number three the rock Backlash 2003 saw The Rock's final match as a full-time talent. Mm -hmm. The Rock was going to branch out to Hollywood, and this would have been a career move that made The Rock a pop culture icon. Which what was out crazy more. about The Rock's decision to exit WWE was that he had only been a main eventer in WWE for around five years, and he was already leaving the company. Mm -hmm. The Great One had a ton more stories to explore, and these were talents such as Eddie Guerrero, Batista, and John Cena, who he had yet to work an extensive mm -hmm. program with. The Rock would make a number of future in-ring appearances for WWE, but the days of him being a full-time talent are unfortunately long gone. Yeah, man. I mean, he's a big movie star, so it, hey, I I can't get mad at that. He's one of the most <laughs> iconic movie stars of all time, so I, I can't get mad at his decision to walk away, you know? Did The Rock make the right call back in 2003 to hang up his boots? Well, in hindsight, yes, but it was clear that The Rock saying goodbye did severe damage to the WWE's product, as The Rock was simply put the most exciting and charismatic yeah. talent WWE had under contract. 
Number two, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Of course, he had to be Stone on Stone Cold this. Steve Austin's established history of neck issues finally caught up to him in 2003. Austin would have his last match at WrestleMania 19 mm -hmm. in a match against his arch rival, The Rock. Austin retiring was a huge blow to WWE and the fans as Austin had been the face of the company for the past few years yep. and he had represented the company through their ultimate peak. It was a huge shame that Austin had to retire due to injury as his work was still excellent and there were still storylines waiting for him such as Brock, Brock, Brock was selling his ass Goldberg. <laughs> Almost two decades after his initial retirement, Austin would come out of retirement for a main event cool. match with Kevin Owens so at great. WrestleMania 38. The match was well received by the fan base and Austin showed everyone that maybe he had one or two more stunners left in him after all. And number one, Shawn Michaels. Mm, this WrestleMania right 26 acted as a swan song, one of the all time greats in Shawn Michaels. He it should have been the swan song, but he came out of retirement for quite a, possibly one of the worst <laughs> tag team matches of legends we have ever seen. HBK would have his last ever match against The Undertaker, and what was interesting about HBK's retirement was that it was questioned if it was the most appropriate time for him to call it a day. HBK's work was still incredible and he was having mm -hmm. great matches with everyone. There were simply no signs of him slowing down or his in-ring work deteriorating. Nevertheless, in 2018, HBK made the controversial decision to come out of retirement. He would team with Triple H to take on yeah. the Brothers of Destruction at the Crown Jewel event and it was evident that HBK had a ton of ring rust and wasted what would have been a huge opportunity for him to wrestle a young star. The Hall of Famer has been openly critical about his decision to come out of retirement, stating he wished he remained retired. Yeah. It goes without saying that HBK had a few more years left in him when he initially retired in 2010, but it was ultimately his decision to call it a day, and it's something fans have to respect. Mm -hmm. But there you have it, folks. Ten rest. <laughs> no, big facts. He, you know, I, I wish he would have stayed retired. Or had a, had a match with somebody else, but nah, I, I respected him for the longest time of him not caving in because what story they told in that last match between the undertaker and hbk at wrestlemania that year was fantastic man but comment down below let me know what are some other wrestlers you feel like retired way too soon in your opinion but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i am still in the speed of youtube wrestling champion of the world and also you know because we're heavyweight champion appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace